Hello, my name is Ravine. I'm an eighth grader from Texas, and I love chemistry, especially how it describes the complexities of what we might think of as simple, like matter or even just water. So I'm really looking forward to having this conversation with you. My name is Diana, and it's a real pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot of exciting things about you, and I have a daughter who's an eighth grader. So more than anything, I'm really thrilled that more and more girls like you are finding interest in chemistry. What does a regular day look like at your job? I studied chemistry, so chemistry is at the heart of really what I do day to day. The lab that's located in Houston helps customers come up with new products. So many products, when you walk through a painting store, have been formulated in a lab. And we have chemists that come up with these products, either design them to be better, um, and then we have chemists that actually test these products against what is on the shelf already. And we have another business that does a lot for oil and gas. And a lot that our company um, does is also for paint strippers, um, detergents, cleaners, um, dog shampoos, uh, pet care, car care. So it's a really a, a big range of day-to-day -day products that the consumers use. We help them either make better, create or improve. It is really day-to-day -day different different projects, which is what keeps keeps my day very varied. Yeah. But it is all fundamentally still chemistry. So have you always been passionate about chemistry? I always liked the creative side. I love arts and I loved different textures. And I remember maybe I was seven or eight years old when I started playing with sands and and, and different rocks and, and trying to paint them. And some paints work better than the others and, and I wanted to know why. And then <laughs> I started looking into glues and, and paper machés and I loved design. Um, so textile was a big part and then the hair and makeup. So um, the, the really creative side drove me to want to understand how I can come up with my own products, but also what makes, what makes them what they are. Can you go into a little bit more depth about how science maybe relates to more creative fields and how each makes the other better? Um, I think to be a scientist, you have to be creative. I think for, for somebody who just follows rules, even though the rules are an important part of being a scientist, you want to be safe and you want to follow safety protocols. You have to have some part of you constantly asking, why is that so? Can I, can I understand it or can it be different? And I think that's where the creative, the innovation side is, is constantly on your right shoulder. So how can schools help encourage girls to pursue a career in STEM? I think it's really, really important in middle school, I think in particular, to, to engage girls and, and make them feel that it's not something to fear. My hope for schools is that they spend as much time doing experiments and exploratory type of science where you engage kids to think rather than just try force the theories on them because science changes. If I look at my chemistry book now and chemistry book 20 years ago, it is very different because we've discovered new things. So what's your advice for girls who want to go into STEM? It, it can be a hard career choice because I think there are many years at university and you really have to be determined. I think it's been for me a love affair. Find somebody who feels as passionate about STEM and, and share a journey with them. If, if you are creative side and you love innovation, I think it's a fantastic career to have where no day is same. And you know, very few people can wake up and say, say the same thing. Uh, do you feel like you have to have a natural talent to go into science or math or do you think you can study and is it good if these fields pose a challenge? You need passion and hard work. I think talent is an add-on. I often believe that talent just gives you that springboard, an extra a head start. But if you're a hard worker and you persist with it, because sciences are very logical, you can overcome some initial challenges. Thank you so much for talking with me today and taking time out of your day. It's really appreciated. I feel like I've learned a lot. I have really enjoyed talking to you. I wish you all the best luck. It's been a pleasure for me to, to see you and, and kind of almost have a travel back to how I was. Mm -hmm.